Shop sa Carlo Lugales, nagpapaalala, kailangan natin mag-tunay. Ito, 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 I'm Trisha DeKitos, your Army The United States Embassy announced that business and tourist visa appointments have been cancelled for the time being. There is no fee to change an appointment and the validity is extended until September 30. Visa applicants were urged to continue monitoring the resumption of road to visa services at the U.S. Embassy in Manila. For news in the Metro, Mandaluyong City has achieved population protection as it completed the vaccination of all of its residents eligible to achieve a COVID-19 vaccine. This is 70% of the city's total population. Julian Eronimo has the full report. Mandaluyong City has achieved herd immunity after a total of 325,188 residents already received at least their first dose of COVID-19 vaccine at the time, according to Mayor Mitchie Avalos. Based on records of the city health departments, the figure translates to 100.01% population of the city who are eligible to receive a vaccine. To clarify, Mandaluyong City's total population is 464,467, while the number of individuals eligible to be vaccinated is 325,127, or 70% of the total population. Avalos said the city's next goal is to complete the remaining second dose of vaccination for those who have yet to receive it. According to the mayor, the success of the city's vaccination program can be attributed to the local government's partnership with the private sector and the cooperation of its residents. For Golden Nation Network, this is Jill Gekiru. And the views and opinions of those and guests do not reflect those on the station, the management, and its network.
countries in Indonesia. He has been through the worst of times and the best of times, but in most cases where the worst of times has been a challenge for him, he has overcome the challenges that come with it. We are privileged to have with us today Senator Richard Gordon, who is now hospitalized in one of the hospitals in the country because of COVID-19. Today, we're privileged to have our conversation with him and ask him whether work stops because of it or does it continue at this given time. A pleasant day, Senator, and how are you recovering from COVID-19? First of all, I wanted uh, that I fulfill my responsibility to to the people around me, my family, my staff. I uh, was noticed by my staff as being uh, de-energized, less energy, and the doctor told me uh, he wanted to do a swab. I was even complaining. I just said, um, I just lack sleep. As it turned out, the swab turned out to be positive. And when it turned out to be positive, all bells and whistles started coming out. And I said, I have to be, I have to be transparent. I announced it. I told all the people that have been, uh, I asked uh, my staff to be traced, to start tracing, the Red Cross to be traced. Immediate staff, my immediate members of the family have to be swabbed. In fact, they just finished their swab today. And uh, today, I think I'm also going to be swabbed in preparatory for my being quarantined at home if they're going to let me go home. So the whole idea here is to emphasize to the public that they can do COVID. Na kahit na ikaw, na bakunahan na, and the long death, I even heard of cases, na lalo na yung Sinovac, I'm sorry, I have to mention it, uh, nagkakaroon ng uh, reaction at may namamatay. Dahil kulang sa panlaban, kulang talaga yung globe nila. So it's important na huwag natin maliitin to. Na pag may naramdaman kayo, dapat magpates kayo kaagad. Number one yan. Of course, bago kayo magpates, dapat nag-iingat kayo, nakamash. Nagugugas kayo ng kamay, hindi kayo lumalapit, lalo na pag kumakain, layo-layo kayo. At kung may marandaman kayo, patest kayo pa agad. At pag nag-test positive kayo pa agad, pa-check nyo sa doktor nyo. Then if you, if you can go to a hospital, assuming hindi ba nasyado-masyado na sa church, do so para magawa. As it is right now, ang ginagawa nila sa akin, binibigyan nila ako ng remdesivir, which is an emergency medicine, para hindi na lumala. And they found out na hindi makakaya lamang ng ordinary uh, X-ray, yung aking uh, nasa lungs ko. Uh, uh, sa X-ray, hindi makikita. Saan nakita? Sa CT scan. So nakita na meron ako mga parang mga uh, uh, pneumonia and that is what they're addressing with their Bessevere uh, para, para makapawi yung uh, threat. At uh, 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 and I feel very, very good because I think I have, uh, I'm dealing and I don't want this to happen to anybody. Malakas naman ang katawan ko. Hindi na naman able to call my office. I think I'm going to try to attend the session today. I will also, uh, I'm also meeting with my office staff in the Senate. And I'm meeting with my record staff every day. And uh, I take all calls that are important. And uh, tuloy-tuloy yan. Hindi uh, naman pwede ang tumigil ang buhay. Okay, ingat tayo. Pwede tayo makapagsaba. Kung gagamitin mo yung mga ask na gamitin mo yung facing ko, gamitin mo yung tinuturo ng gobyerno, kira pa magkasakit. Alam lang kung ikaw nagpapatest, importante yan, hindi ka magpapatest, hindi mo alam, may sakit ka na nang ahawa ka. Kung ikaw ay positive, dapat, ikaw dapat by that time, nabakunahan ka na. Kung tatamat magkasakuna, you're putting yourself in danger and the rest of the people in danger. Because kung hindi ka nabakunahan, gusto ang gusto, ng variant na hindi ka napakunahan, yan ang papatay o talagang magkakaroon ka ng malubang sakit na gastos na hindi mo kailangan at baka makapanghawa ka pa, makamatay ka pa. That is why I'm here. Sir, uh, Senator, whether you like it or not, despite the fact that, you know, people can are vaccinated with uh, the vaccine, many who are exposed to uh, the uh, COVID would still find themselves in a very dangerous situation and it's not really a guarantee that you will survive if and when you are contaminated, contaminated with the virus itself. That's precisely why I have been vaccinated. I know the science tells me even if you're vaccinated, it's still sick. Not only here, but abroad. And that has happened in America, it's happened in Indonesia where doctors have died, they've been vaccinated. And that is why 
uh, one of my advocacies is that not only the doctors or the frontliners must be vaccinated or must be tested regularly, but their families must also be vaccinated because when they go home, they might bring the disease. And even if they're vaccinated, they're still in danger, so testing is always important. Kaya de, walang, walang, walang siguro dito sa sakit na ito. Ang nilalagay mo lang ay tinalakasan mo yung depensa mo para hindi ka magkakasakit at hindi ka magdadulot ng sakit sa ibang tao. Hindi naman mo kayo nakahawa ng ibang tao kaya sa kusina nyo or with your family, sir? Wala naman, wala. Pero naman may isang architect na nakausap ko. Baka doon niya nakuha. Uh, kaya tinetest siya rin ngayon. Dapat talaga tinetrace. Napakahalaga ng tracing. Diyan may, diyan nahihirapan ang mga gobyerno kung not in the Philippines but other kind kung may hina dahil sa tracing nahihirap na yun. Sir, the variant, uh, because of the variant and the rising cases that we see now with COVID-19 government has, uh, well, government has uh, issued a, an order that we will go into ECQ again for the next two weeks starting this Friday. How do you see this? And if we were to look at how government is trying to manage uh, the impact of the variant at this time, do you think that we are ready at least to deal with this and ensure that infections are locked down? I'm not in the blame game. It's not the blame game. It's not the blame game. It's not the blame game. Well, the way I'm going to say anything, dapat talaga mabilis tayo, dapat maaaraw pa ang pagpatesting na tayo. Maaaraw, pero wala, bumili tayo ng gawat para napakulahan natin ng mga tao. Pero nandiyan na yan. So, uh, what is important is ngayon, uh, mag-ingat tayo. Kung mag-iisig din tayo, ibig sabihin, may nakikita ang gobyerno na yung nangyari sa Indonesia, sa India, sa Myanmar, eh pwede mangyari sa atin. Kailangan mag-ingat tayo. Dapat, ang talagang pinakamaingat dapat dyan, ay sarili natin mga mamaya. They have to take care of themselves para hindi sila mga hawa. At kung hindi sila sumusunod, mga pataway sila, then they're putting themselves in that situation that they're providing reckless endangerment. They're reckless, they're endangering people, and they're spreading the disease. And what is the end result? Una, nahihirapan ng mga doktor, magkakasakit ng mga doktor. Kung marami tayo. Pangalawa, kung pulang ang doktor, mag-overload ang hospital, pulang ang doktor, Pag-uulang ng hospital, kulang ang ICU, kulang ang uh, tinatawag natin uh, uh, yung uh, uh, panghiha, yung uh, tanke ng uh, oxygen, uh, kukulangin yan at ang may hihari sa atin, eh, ito lang may hihirapan tayo. We're gonna have a hard time. That's why it's important that itong ECQ, pairalit natin and we have to tighten up our borders as well. Uh, but this is going to stay with us for a long time. A long time is a real challenge for us and uh, how should we uh, work together to ensure that as a nation uh, being one in this fight, uh, we, can we overcome this and should politics be out of the way? Well, it will always be politics. So, uh, uh, Red Cross has 1,000 vaccinators. Kulang ang vaccine sa amin. So, kung bibigyan kami ng vaccine, makukubos namin kagad yan. Ang binibigay sa local government, I'm sure they're doing their best. Kami narinig ako na nagbabaksin sa bahay ng mayor o sa bahay raw ng mga barangay captain, which is wrong. Uh, Meron rin ako narinig na nagbabenta ng vaccine, which is wrong. So hindi ko maalis yan. So how do we cooperate? Everybody must be alert. Na yung dapat natin gawin magpabakuna, magpabakuna tayo. At uh, kung marami tayong bakuna ng center, mas mabilis. Kaya kung may darating na 4 million, ubusin ka agad natin yan. At dapat, ubos si dalawang, dalawang uh, uh, sunod, lalo na yung mga senior citizen, ang bababa na senior citizen natin. Kung mababa yung mga senior citizen natin, yung mga apo ninyo, hindi mababakunahan dahil unahin muna kayo dahil kayo talaga ang delikado. Kaya dapat maunay yung mga senior citizen at maunay yung mga nagtatrabaho frontliner at maunay yung mga nagtatrabaho para umanda ng ekonomiya. Pag hindi aanda ng ekonomiya, darating ang araw na wala na tayong pambigay ng ayuda. O yun, ano ba ang damihan? May wala na tayong pambigay ng ayuda. So lahat wala tayo ito. ay may kukulin na pangalagaan ang bayan laman sa COVID. At alam nyo na ako na dapat ninyong gawin. Paulit-ulit na sinasabi sa inyo yan. Pero kung matigas ang ulo nyo, talagang dapat eh, parusahan kayo. Isang gusto ko mangyari. 
pagka hindi ka nagpapabakuna, aba hindi ka pwedeng pumunta sa uh, magsimba, hindi ka pwedeng pumunta sa uh, sa restaurant, pagbabawal ka. Ang mga bakunahan hanggang mare, dapat nakakusa yun sa mga lugar na babakunahan at yung mga hindi na babakunahan, dapat nalaman natin kung hindi nagpapabakuna. You, 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 have, you never expected yourself to be a uh, uh, condemnity to be hit by COVID, did you, uh, Senator? Oh, I did. I did because I'm very exposed. Remember, I go to Matanduares with my mask. I go to uh, Ayan, Nung Baguio. I went to uh, Isabela. Uh, and we sent goods to uh, Misami to, uh, to uh, Mindanao. Uh, I went to Cebu for a while. I went to uh, Chargao to open up molecular laboratories. I, I, I try to be careful, but you know, uh, I don't look for it, but I try to be careful, but then I hit right away, I will move right away. I went on earth to keep my family safe and to keep up with safe. Sir, are you uh, okay? I like that. I mean, as it is, uh, did work stop uh, for you, or do you continue to be very active uh, not only in terms of COVID, but in terms of other other work that you have in the center. Sir. Work, work never stops for me. I just uh, make sure the first day what I had and whether I can continue to work. And I think I can continue to work. My doctors tell me I can continue to work. I just cannot go out. I just don't want to contaminate anybody. So I have my computer here. I give instructions. I ask researchers. I tell the center, and, uh, for example, we are expanding our molecular laboratories. We are expanding our food trucks because uh, ECQ, maraming magugutom. So we're putting out about uh, 17 to 20 food trucks that will give free food to people in the rural, in the areas where we are hungry. Nagawin na rin ko siya, magpapakain tayo kasi ang mga bago lahat yan. Huwag nagdagdag tayo ng molecular laboratories. Kaya kailangan sa Palawan, wala. Sa Bicol, kailangan dagdagan. Sa Rite, kailangan dagdagan. So binabantayan ko lahat siya at talagang maglalabas tayo para magpapatulong tayo sa lalo madaling panahon magawa ka agad sa dapat ko yan. Nakakatulog pa ako kayo? Oo, oh, well, you know, before, hindi ko nakakatulog. Ngayon, medyo nakakatulog ako dito. Uh, uh, normally, my sleep is what? Two to four hours. Dito, nakakasig sa hours a day ako ngayon, which is good. And I'm trying to do eight hours. Kahapon, happy ako dahil naka four hours ako ng gabi. Aglit ako, hindi minish ko na ako, akiluhan ako ng dugo, after about two hours natulog ako, nakatulog ako ng alari six hours. Naka ten hours ako the whole day. Pero kagabi, natulog na naman ako ng alas tres. Gising na naman ako ng alas siete. So I'll try to uh, uh, get some more sleep before I go to work again. What about your appetite? How is it? I'm very, I have a full appetite. I, uh, I, I eat all the things that they give here. You know, hospital food isn't exactly the best, but uh, it's all right. Uh, I, I take it. I just don't take the rice. I tell them I don't take rice. Uh, and so, my wife sends me a turkey sandwich once in a while, an egg sandwich, and that's what I eat. Uh, I'm hungry all the time. I take uh, uh, some fruits. My staff sent me a basket of fruits, but uh, I'm really trying to get me to be very badly diabetic. So, I uh, nurses here. Uh, sometimes I order a sandwich, but I, when I order a sandwich, I make sure that all the nurses get uh, their share of a sandwich for me. Para, one, hinahati ko yung sandwich ko para magkasasa ng dalawang pong nurses. <laughs> no, I buy them all uh, hamburgers para pag namili ako. Alam mo naman, uh, they, I, I always treat the nurses very, very well because they're exposing themselves. Sir, are you alone in your, uh, in your room with nobody except uh, you call on the nurses or, or the doctors when you give something? Yeah, the nurses are past here. Uh, and uh, the doctors are quite uh, competent and they're very, very uh, service-oriented. I'm very pleased with them. I'm glad I went here. Sir, you, you know, when you, well, maybe there's no problem for you, but for the most depressed people who are infected with uh, with COVID, well, the cost of, uh, the cost is very expensive in terms of ensuring that you are treated with COVID. So. 
how do we bring down the cost knowing that, you know, I mean, it's something which uh, may not everybody can afford. May some uh, agenda just uh, today may mention to me that he has spent uh, one million for a for for his daughter. Pero may, may, pero, pero, may pera naman sila, pero yung iba, hindi nila kaya po. Most of the time, sa public hospitals, may universal health care, okay. covered sila. Yung nga lang, kapos din sa gamit. Okay. And uh, if you go to a public hospital, they'll give you the same thing that they're giving me. They would have them the severe, uh, they would take their blood, sana kompleto sila sa uh, blood works, ang laboratory na mayo, sila sila na ubusan ng reagents. Yun ang dapat natin binapatayan. Our health system must be the strongest of all. As, as strong as our education system, which is, you know, major broken ang system natin ngayon. So one of the things that I dream of and that I will always be fighting for, and you know, when I was mayor, I put up a hospital that was one best in the country. Uh, and uh, everywhere I've been, as a Red Cross, I made it the best in the world, practically. Uh, maraming gamit ang Red Cross, walang gamit yung ibang bayan. No? Uh, importante sa akin ang health. At uh, hindi mo tama ka, hindi mo mga may hero, siyempre. Una-una, they're una, battling against ignorance. Hindi nila alam, hindi nila kailangan magbayad. Kung isa, no, kukuha sila ng dugo. Kasi may panahon sa Pedro, sa Tagalang kailangan may pampalit eh. Yo, and meron naman sa Red Cross. Kung di sila makakabili, bibigyan ko sila ng libre. May nang blood sa Marita program na hindi sila sisingilin hanggang gusto nila. In fact, uh, we do that also in United Day at the center. Kailangan kami hindi pa lang yung sigil namin. But you know, kailangan uh, merong inherent inequalities and that's where the government must be really, really uh, be prepared na tulungan ng taong bayan because nakakapanig yan kung wala kang pampili. Di ba, di ba, pwede ka naman bigyan ng uh, at yung mga may high blood pressure o ng COVID. Uh, walang pambili ng Norvax, walang pambili ng... May ginagawa ang gobyerno na dyan, nakakabili sila. Ay, they're discounted o binibigyan sila. So, dapat alam nila sila kung anong ginagawa. Adjust lang ang communications are ng gobyerno. Dapat sinasabi pa lagi yan. That's why kami sa Recos. Meron tayong 1158. Kung ikaw magpapagamot, pwede ka namin tulungan kung saan ka dadalihan. Meron tayong ambulansya, dadalihan ko sa ambulansya. Yung ambulansya sa amin, 170. Alos 95% libre yun. Hindi kami naniningil dahil hindi kaya. Yun na lang kaya maningil. Kaya ang sinigilin na babayo dyan. Dapat ka. Pero talagang blue hindi doon. Pero naangabot na habol naman natin sa mga tumutulong sa atin. So, important lang din na malamang kagad ng tao kung ano ang ibinibigay sa kanila ng gobyerno at huwag palaasa. Of course, the best defense. You work, you still you invest. So the Senator, the fact, uh, well, given the experience of the country uh, under COVID break, uh, resources are so important at funding. If you are to look at the post-national budget and the budget of the Department of Health in the years to come, don't you think that the health should be given more in terms of the budget or resources so that Anytime a pandemic hits the country, we are ready for it and we don't fall short of resources. We can never have enough resources. But in our case, we have resources. Napupunta sa kalukuhan yung iba. Katulad yung git. Yung mga dun sa Deng Baksha. Hindi naman kailangan yun. Wala yun sa top 10 na dapat ipakunahan. Ipinilit. Ang laking na walang pera doon. Pero mga pera ang ginamit na pera para buo ang mga rin ng mga health centers na hindi na tapos. Uh, pinabalik sa kanil ng Forte uh, for the Appeals kung kailan na hindi na natapos. Maraming ganyan. Maraming mga uh, overpricing. Dapat matigil yan. Uh, may pera po siya may pera. Pero...